Well, hello everybody, I'm Davey. Today I have a nice large rummage sale haul for you. It was our citywide rummage, plus I was in charge of our church rummage, so I found some good things and items there, and some deals, of course, since I coordinated it. So, I have quite a bit of clothing, some home decor. The citywide overall wasn't great for decor. I didn't film anything because it was pretty chaotic day as since I was at our church rummage the whole day I snuck out for about a half hour to go hit up some of our other rummages but I will start with the home decor first and then move into some of the clothing so first piece I found you guys I have a problem with baskets so this is one again I thought I could use for picking produce when it's full bloom everything's full produce I know we're gonna have a plethora of fruit and vegetables so I wanted another nice large basket for 50 cents and I've hung them in our wall on our wall in our porch and I really like that decor of how it's just hanging on the wall and I can grab it when I go out to pick fresh flowers and produce so 50 cents for that this is a beautiful blue and white striped kind of farmhouse style pillow and I don't know the brand it was at the church rummage I paid, oh, I probably paid 75 cents for it. I kind of got a deal of lumping everything together, but it's a down-filled, super soft pillow, and I really like this blue and white. You all know I really like blue and white. Sticking with the theme of pillows, this is a Harmony House pillow cover, and you know, wouldn't that go really well together? I have some nice inserts that would be um, it capable of fitting in this. Harmony House is a local South Dakota company and they have really good products. Um, they have a nice Instagram page too if you're interested. So that was 50 cents. Not only home decor, but a mug. This was a quarter and so that's nice because it fits under our espresso machine and we have this lighter blue color. It's the Room Essentials brand for under our espresso machine. I was excited to find a bunch of candles at a local or at one of the um, rummages. This one is a bee candle, beeswax candle. So it says handmade with love, be kind, love the bees. Um, it's bees, it's beeswax. So I'm really excited about that because I don't like fragranted candles in my home. So this was a dollar and cute little jar, isn't it? All right, some of you probably know what brand this is. This is Pioneer Woman. It is a butter dish. And now this is not for me. I'm going to try to resell it. It's pretty heavy, but I've heard Pioneer Woman items go pretty well on resell. So really cute though. If I did want to keep it, I would use this because it's so cute. Just too wide too. I like the narrow ones. So very cute. That was a dollar. This is a very dirty ball blue jar. It's the shorter ones, but isn't that just adorable? And it's got the top to it, the rusted metal on there. It was a dollar at one of the sales. So I'll just clean that up a little bit and display it as I've been liking to use more of these little jars around for decor. All right, I got this storage container and it has a seal right around there, but it doesn't actually seal. So it just kind of is for putting other things in there like granola bars or um, clothes pins, which I don't have, but just some things in there or maybe putting my dryer balls in there. So this was a dollar at the church rummage, just a fun glass canister. Okay, this, I liked the pigs. I liked the white and the wood. It was 25 cents. I don't like the coffee. So I'm going to probably just paint over that again white and see if I can't distress it again to make it look like it does, just without the word coffee on it. Cause I do really like it. Don't know if I would use it over our espresso machine or if I use it in our little house. I don't know. But I didn't, <laughs> I didn't pass it up or put it in my bedroom and then hang something on it here and add a little display here. So for 25 cents, I thought it'd be a fun little DIY to repaint that white. Okay, not really home decor, but it can be. 
some gardening books. So these were 25 cents a piece and I love in the cooler months to just peruse gardening books and read them and learn more about something that I love doing. And they just have some beautiful pictures, just some beautiful pictures here. And then this one is the gardener's handbook. So just got some nice things about annuals and then some perennials. So just some really handy books to have. And I like having hardcover books for um, looking at and referencing. Um, let's see, I think that's, oh, one more kind of home decor. I got a terracotta planter for a dollar as well. Okay, just a few other random things that are not closed but aren't home decor. 31 bag for 50 cents. Uh, it's really handy to have for putting in the vehicle, taking to the lake, that type of thing, putting kids clothes in when you're traveling. It has a zipper, it's worn, but for 50 cents, very nice to have that. These two pillowcases were 50 cents. They're a little worn, but when we go camping or when we travel and take our pillows, it's nice not to have white pillowcases. So I just picked these up for 50 cents for both of those. Then I got this letter puzzle. Now I'm not sure if my oldest, who's three, will have it or if I'll try to resell it. Not totally sure yet what I'm gonna do with it, but it's really fun. It's got all the different animals, like A for alligator, B for butterfly, C for corn. Be a good way to learn letters, but really cute puzzle. That was a quarter. This bag was free. It's kind of like a beach bag, just with watermelon on it. Okay, to the clothes, I bought some things to resell as well. So first shirt I definitely would not be wearing is from Espress. It's a tube top and sometimes these type of shirts sell during the seasonal or strapless, whatever you want to call it, tube top strapless. I love the checkered powder and it might make a really cute pillow as well too, but I'll probably try to resell that. To one of the sales, my husband came with me and he wanted me to buy this little black dress. I actually don't even own a little black dress. So it's just from, I don't know, Speechless is what it's called. So it was a dollar. It goes a little above my knees. It's uh, sleeveless in lines of dresses. I like this dress and how it looks without being on. It's thread and supply. I love these stripes. It's a three quarter length. It's got pockets, but it is rather short on the top. It's longer in the back than it is in the front. It's just, it's really cute. I mean, it'd be great for the winter months, but I might just try to resell it because it's very short. I do not like having things that are very short for the summer, especially when you have little kids. This sweater is a new day. It was a dollar. You know, it's hard to think of sweaters right now, but it looks so cozy and if I don't wear it, I'll resell it. It's really nice condition, gray, like cable knit sweater. Like it, like it a lot. Another sweater, this one's a little bit lighter. If I can get it undone here. This was a dollar. It's Sigrid Olsen. I'm not sure I know that brand, but it's kind of a light blue and it has a little pocket. It has slits on the side. So I thought that would be a nice light sweater to go over some dresses or skirts. I have a skirt on today and wear that for out and about. All right, I bought these Under Armour pants for, I wanna say they were a dollar or two. They're sweats and I don't have a pair of sweatpants and I thought I could wear them. I could resell them. It's Under Armour, so that's a pretty name brand. They're women's blue. They're kind of the jogger style, so they have like the cropped leg on the bottom. Either for future or to resell. This is an Isabel maternity dress and um, it's really pretty. I like the design on it. So it's got nice florals. It'll probably be one to resell because I already took the pictures of it. But just a nice dress for um, someone who's expecting and it's you know, got the rouging on the side to help with the belly. So just really cute dress there. All right. This is a spring Columbia jacket. It was $3. 
I already listed this to sell because I already have a spring jacket. So just really nice rain jacket. And it was only worn once, the person had said where I got it. So really nice jacket there. Um, okay, I think that's all for women's type clothes. Little hat for my oldest. It says farm girl with a tractor on it. That was a quarter. Then this Eddie Bauer pullover, either for my husband or to resell again. It's really nice condition. I think I paid $3 for this actually. But it's just a very nice pullover sweater for the cooler months. A couple other things I got, two pairs of shoes. One, I'll try to insert a picture here since I don't have them. A pair of Tom's shoes for my husband and he actually wore them today. So they are on him or out on the porch and they are just really, really nice condition. They were $3 as well. And then I got a little pair of church sandals for my daughter and they were 25 cents. So those are really nice for her to wear as well to church or to outings other than outdoor play. Um, oh, I do have a few other decor type pieces, just one. Just some extra Christmas ribbon, it was a quarter for when I start wrapping presents in a bit, several, several months, but nice to think ahead a little bit on that. Then just a curling iron that was 25 cents to put in our Airbnb because sometimes people forget things like that and it's in really nice condition. It doesn't even look like it's been used much at all. So just nice to have that to supply for guests. One more decor thing, I keep thinking of more things. It's outside hanging right now. It is a little wind chime that I got for a quarter at a sale. So I thought that'd be kind of fun. It's a little high pitched when it is windy out because it's just how it's set, the texture of it, so the pitch of it is set a little bit higher. So it's a little, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not, but it's kind of cute and fun to have a wind chime since I don't have any at all. All right, well friends, I wanna say that's everything. I am loving that I get to go rummaging in the summers and enjoying sharing hauls with you. Give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy my rummage sale hauls because I had something I do in the summer so it's fun to just bring you along and then share what I have with you. So love you guys and I will talk with you in the next video.